Hello and welcome back to my new Glowing Adventures. We left off last time with Trixie uh, just doing the opening ceremony and us getting our team together thanks to the Wild Areas uh, Daycare Centre. So today we're going to make our way through Route 3 um, and make our way over Route 3 and 4 I believe and make our way over to the first gym. Well, we're going to have a bit of a challenge because it's grass, so we don't really have much for it besides Aerodactyl, which isn't going to be the best counter because there we are rock typing, um, but we do have wing attack, so it's like our best shot, I think, um, I've been able to actually defeat the, uh, defeat the gym. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see. We can't really use to a pinch because, unfortunately, we are a ground type. Can't really use Lavatar because it's rock and ground. It, with Mudkip, it's water. We can't use that. We could potentially use a Yam Mask and maybe do some Will-O-Wisp strats if we get Will-O-Wisp in time. And then we do have Pet Lil, which we could also use. Um, which might honestly be one of the answers, but it won't really do much because we can't stun spore. Because uh, you can't stun spore a grass type. Um, so yeah, but this episode might be a little bit short. Um, but we're going to make our way through Route 3, make our way through the cave, through Route 4, and over to the gym. And we're going to take that on today. Tell to Trixie, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift for you. A gift, such a wonderful thing, from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me. The gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Cooling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. This is actually going to be super useful. I'm not going to lie. Um, I could have done with this last episode, in all honesty. Uh, if it's all right with you, uh, I'll read a segment from the flying taxi, use my new <clears throat> Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go. This really just feels like SAO, like virtual reality, like, you know, like open the menu to do thing. Anyway, your next goal should be Turfield. Isn't that right, Trixie? When traveling to a new place, it's best to get there uh, on your own two legs, don't you think? She seems unhappy that I get to fly places. She, she seems annoyed. It's like, oh my god, why do you get to fly? Ugh, fucking lazy. Fucking millennial doesn't want to put in work. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. Uh, we'll get a bit of training. All right. I need to be up for it. Yeah, okay. We've got to stay keener than anyone else if we want to steal that spotlight from our rivals. Okay, Hop. You're, you were challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. Wooloo. Okay. Keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if uh, we're up to the gym challenge. Alright, so let's just start with Spongebob. Uh, and then let's just make a drain. Uh, you do six damage, but I heal more than what you're able to deal me. Or not. I didn't heal fully. Sad. It's okay. I'm at full health. Nice, your mask leveled up. Rookie D's nuts! I'll keep battling. Oh wait, flying type against grass type. This wasn't smart. But you know what? You know what? It's fine. We sun spawn. Uh 
Uh, I don't think Megadrain will do a whole lot, so we're gonna switch out. We're gonna go Aerodactyl because we have Angel Power. Ah, uh, do we actually go Lavatar for Rock Throw, actually? We'll get Lavatar some action. Given the fact that Aerodactyl will probably be the focus point of the gym. And I do want to try using all of my Pokemon. Typical. Should have known you've massive mat uh, time matchups. Oh, Rookity's Nuts is dead. Nice. A lot of level ups there. We'll take it. Aromatherapy. What do you do? The user release a soothing scent that heals all stats can this affect the user's party. Ah, yeah, I'll land this over Absorb. This could come in handy. My kid wants a lamp attack? Yes. <laughs> Um, I guess we just forget Tackle, right? The rest of these are kind of good. And Protect can be kind of huge against the Grass Gym. If we end up, like, if we end up using it. Um, like, Grookey. Um, yeah, this is where we'll go Aerodactyl. Back in the corner, you got it all wrong, mate. We'll just, uh, this will just make my victory summing. How many of our true power? Green power just keeps on growing stronger. Okay, so how much is Branch Poke gonna deal me? Okay, you have three level advantage. I didn't do a whole lot. So we should actually be fine for the grass gym then. And the pinch leveled up. Nice. I'm pretty sure every single party member gained a level today. Or at least from this one battle. Uh, Mud Slap, Sand Attack, this will reduce the target's accuracy. That could actually be pretty useful. Like, as much as, like, we just delete these moves as quickly as possible, they do come up sometimes. They can be, like, pretty useful. Um, I feel like Astonish or Laser Focus. The user, uh, concentrates intensely. The attack on the next turn always results a good look hit. Laser Focus isn't awful, actually, either. I think we maybe give it Astonish. For mud slap, it's twenty to a hundred. This is thirty to a hundred, and our physical attack is way better than our special attack. However, this would also get stab for what one point five times. So this basically becomes thirty power. We'll go with astonish. Right, thank you, thank you, Money Hop. This is what I expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my lead cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. Thank, I don't want this. It's garbage. Can I throw it away? Um, I don't tell the starts right now. Uh, from here in Motorstoke. Although the first gym leader you'll have to challenge is in a town way far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm not going to... I'm going to keep on winning my way to that championship match. I promise you guys, I can read. Hello, Galar. Uh, me, your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop. Postwick? Postwick? 
I, I don't know. However you meant to pronounce it, that's how I said it. Alright, we're gonna heal up. And move on our way. So I think we should probably lead with okay, we are leading with pet little good. Um I am gonna quickly look at uh pet little slash lilligant and see about the learn set upon leveling. Uh I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I am back. I decided to hit up my friend Poker because he is the resident Lilligan expert. Hi Poker if you're watching. And he said to stop at 21 or 24 for Pet Lil. Uh, at level 24 we get Leech Seed, at 21 we get Giga Drain. So I think we'll stop at 24 and then that's why we will Sunstone it. As there's no point going for After You. Energy Ball is a TM. Uh, there's no point for Synthesis or Sunny Day or Entrainment or Leaf Storm. Um, and we get Petal Dance upon Evolution. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, Poker did just message saying, assuming we are on tempo, which we are, uh, there's no point in anything other than Petal Dance and Giga Drain. Okay, so we don't need Leech Seed. But I think I'll go to 24 anyway to get Leech Seed. Um, although if we have Giga Drain, we won't really need Leech Seed, but it could be useful overall for our other mons. So, I think we'll go to 24. Uh, so we're not going to be evolving Petal this episode, unfortunately. But that's fine. Oh, battle. Whoops. It's fine. We need the XP. Uh, okay, well, this is a instantly this bad matchup. Let's switch out to Mudkip and let Mudkip get some uh, showtime. So we're just gonna water gun and make quick work of you. This is where having Tackle would have been useful, because then I wouldn't have needed to use another water gun. But this is okay. Nice, my kid leveled up. We should get a couple of evolutions this episode. I say that, I think the only one that's going to evolve here is Mudkip. Nice, three heal balls. I mean, we're not going to use them, but we got them. Um, actually, do I have super potions? I feel like I picked some up. Uh, I have regular potions. But it's all held up. Uh, prevent. So I know. Don't need to go to the Pokemon Center. Okay. I'm trying to avoid the balance, but I really shouldn't. I should do all of them in order to get XP. I'm just a little lazy. <laughs> okay. Um... The stun sport in the Mega Drain, I suppose. Okay, you hurt for a lot. Um, okay, fighting is weak to. 
I just know fairy off the top of my head. Uh, it's okay. We'll just we'll just wing attack. Wing attack is good enough. Okay. I was gonna say dark, but I know dark is weak to fighting because in Japan, fighting is hero typing and dark is evil. Uh, so it's evil versus hero, and obviously, fighting is gonna be super effective. But nice, Aerodactyl and Petlo both leveled up. We're going to go ahead and heal on up our... Um, Pet Lil. Aerodactyl is fine for now. Let's fight this boy. But do! Okay, listen here, kid. How did you know I hate this Pokemon? Well, not Purdue. I don't have Grimes for Purdue. I have Grimes of what you turn into. I ha I hate Roselia. I've been shiny hunting for Chatot, and I have found five shiny Roselias on Route 224 doing level 54 repel trick. I have a 50-50 chance of finding a shiny Chadot, and I have found five Roselias. Oh, Disable? Nightshade is only going to be really good in the higher levels. And inflicts damage equal to the user's level. So right now, Nightshade isn't really that useful, but we can reteach it later. I feel like the Sable is a more useful move. As Astonish can make the target flint. Like right now, this would only deal like 12 damage. But when we're like level like 55, 60, this would be a lot better. Haze could come up. I don't really think many trainers raise their stats, but this could come up. We'll give it a nice shade for now for disable. Gossifleur? No, we can say it. Gossifleur honestly has a really good shiny. And then they just ruined it with Elder Goss. Like, if you ever get a shiny Gossifleur, don't evolve it. Like, you'll be much better off keeping it a Gossifleur and then doing, like, Eevee Light Straps. Hello, Sonya. Hey, Jim Challenger. Uh, you looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Thank. Oh, but where's Hop? He can sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something uh, a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by the Chairman Rose. Just past Ralph Reed is a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the Chairman is responsible for, for, for providing the Gala region with its energy too. Can't say I really get him, but the Chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? Uh... Here, a little something for having a chin rag with me. It's an escape rope. Chin rag is probably the most British thing Sonya has ever said. 
I'll heal up your Pokemon too. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you. I need that. The way to Tarfield is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in an, in its own right. Good luck, Gym Challenger. I like how she doesn't call me Trixie and it's just Gym Challenger. Oh, sparkly item. Oh, revive. Hey, Rody Coley's. Alright, I'm not gonna battle him. I don't know if we battle her. I doubt it, but I'm just gonna avoid her. Well, I'm forced to battle you. There we go. I, I know what I'm doing. Um, I want to put Trapinch in so Trapinch can get some airtime, but let's go Mudkip. I believe outside the mine there is someone that heals your Pokemon up, right? So I don't need to worry too much about HP here. Nice, my Kip and Love are leveled up. Scary face? No, I'm good. I don't even need to read that. Dotler, it's a bug Pokemon. Okay, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl so far is going to be the early game MVP. Aerodactyl leveled up. Well deserved. So I believe there is, so I believe she does heal me. Um, pop a Pokemon set of service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Galamine is pretty rough on, on a team, is that? Heal up your Pokemon. Thank you. All right, so let's go through the Galar Mine. I guess I should really do some battles um, and level up. Even though I'm trying to avoid trainers, um, Actually, what is the level cap for Tuffield? I'll be back in a moment. Okay, the level is 20, so we definitely need to actually do some battles and uh, get our levels up here. As I don't want to be going into this under leveled for sure. So this might actually involve a little bit of uh, off-camera grinding, but we'll see. The XP seems to be pretty generous. Now I don't want to go in over-leveled, so everyone will get to around level, will get to like level twenty, and then I'll likely stop there. Like this isn't a Nuzlocke. I'm not forced to stick to the level cap, but 
obviously when you go over, it becomes too easy. And we've already got a challenge given the fact that we have, outside of Aerodactyl, we don't have anything for, um, for it. Now, I think you're fighting type, right? If I remember correctly, so I'm just going to use Rock Throw. Okay, that is nothing. What is Rock Week 2? I forget. Um, we are going to need Fairy, Flying, or Psychic. Okay. So let's go into Aerodactyl. You would think playing, I was seeing as I've played this game since I was seven, I would know type matchup. You would be wrong. Okay. So you're getting me very weak, and I don't appreciate that. Nice, my kip is level 15, your yeah, mask is level 13. Supersonic? Uh, no, you're good. Another Timber. So we're gonna switch into Pet Lil so we can Stun Spore. And then we're going to Potion on Aerodactyl. And then we're just gonna try to kill it with like Mega Drain so we get a free switch in. So we're at 36 HP. Okay, if you can actually be paralyzed, that would be fantastic. Yes, we will switch back into Aerodactyl. And then we can just use Wing Attack twice and we'll survive one low kick. We might survive two, but yeah, I don't think so. Okay, we will unless it high rolls or crits, but we're faster. But nice, Aerodactyl leveled up, much deserved. So let's go back and use the healing woman. I want to try and limit it, but because it will definitely make this too easy. And the whole point of this is to kind of meant to be a bit of a challenge. But I'm not, I'm not here for my Pokemon to die. And I should have bought more healing items. So this is on me. If I had more healing in my bag, I would just use that. Also, okay, wait, what's up here? I don't think I've ever been up here.
Like, even in my regular playthrough, I don't think I ever came up here. Okay, no, surely I had to. Nah, I think I did. You know what? I'm gonna end up actually checking. Like, I don't think I realized in my regular playthrough that that was an option. Or this. I mean, Rock Blast is pretty okay. Skyface is a pretty bad TM. Okay, bag of Sardas. Okay, cool. Some money. We, we stand money. Okay, Mudkip is the perfect lead for this. I'll just book smash. Drew Bro now we'll keep battling. I don't think you're part still yeah, I think you're just ground for the moment. Yeah, you are. Okay, Mukip is a little low on health. Yo, but I think we're about to have our first evolution. Unless Mukip is for some reason level 17. I don't think it is. Should be level 16. And here we are, our first evolution. And now we have Marsh Stomp. Mud Shot? Yes. You can. You can. Um. 55.95 You can forget Rock Throw because we have 5 more accuracy plus stab Okay Let's continue on along our journey Oh, nice. Aether? That's going to come in handy. Oh, heavy duty boots. Okay. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem now in here, given the fact that now we have a Marsh Stomp. It should make our lives a little bit easier. Magical Leaf? Yes. Um... This is actually a difficult one. I guess we forget aromatherapy. Because this will be a place of Mega Dra for Giga Drain. I guess we're not really doing any double battles, right? So I guess Helping Hand, actually.
Oh, nice, enough of a five. Oh, cool, two super potions. I think we f do we fight Biddy here. Leave away, we're using the super potion. All right. Hello, Bidet. Coming this way, I would advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating for me and my Pokemon. I mean, sure. You. You're the gym titles endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the champion is more important than the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you and uh, you are and how strong I am. Okay, today let's do this. Okay, so Lotus, so a psychic type. So, uh, Bug, Dark, and Ghost. So, we could use Yamask here. Give Yamask some air time. I don't think we've seen Yamask battle yet. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine. That's all. So we're gonna disable that confusion. This is why we teach. Con this is why we teach disable. The Sable actually came up. Level 14, well deserved. You put in the work. Got feeder. We can keep battling. Okay, so we need to s super potion, and then we're gonna need to disable. Okay, so I think your feeder will only have like pound at this point. I don't think it has tickle, attack fell, defense fell. Okay, that's fine. Nice, we got a crit. Limits every stat change among the Pokemon engaged in battle. Either way, we'll just use Tickle again, right? <laughs> and how long does the Sable last for? Four turns. So this is the last turn. But it should be dead this turn. No, okay. So Tickle has taken too much of an effect. So we're gonna need a switch. Um, let's go into Trapinch because it does have bite.
Okay, that dealt a lot of damage. I'm fucking unfortunate. Okay. Uh, can we go into Aerodactyl? I mean, it's not weak to Psychic, so yes. Um, gonna go bank. We're gonna do a. We're gonna use Max Revive on our Trap Inch. So I want Trap Inch to like earn XP. Atena? No, we'll keep battling with this. Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever. Let's get this done with. Okay, so this is part... This is Psychic Fairy? No, this is just Fairy, right? No, it's Psychic. Okay. So yeah, fight. It's it's finally going to become Psychic Fairy. Nice, and we got the flinch. We be we be a uh, bidet. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Okay then. Honestly, it would have been really great if you just found a wishing star there. And it's like, you know, it's like, uh, haha, no, you didn't. I got one. Alright, this is the sister. We're gonna heal up here. Wonder about four. You're just going to be a camp. Let's go around and collect all of the items that are around here. Because I know there's a fair few. Oh, rare candy. Nice. Huge. Energy powder, nice, huge. There's a TM there. Sharp beak, okay. Right, hello, Electric. So we're just gonna run from this. It's also weird to see ghost types in the daytime, just given my, just given like Scarlet and Violet and how ghosts don't appear unless it's nighttime. Alright, mud shot. Mm, 
matchup. Nice, 17, 15, 16, 14. Nice, four, no four level ups. Scary face, no. Sand tomb, ooh. 35, 85. <sighs> How would this work in combination with laser focus? The attack on the next one always results in the critical hit. I assume that's only if the move lands. Oh, this is a four to five time move. It like traps them. Honestly, I'm gonna say no. I think we're good. Um, no, we'll keep battling. Um, I know, we'll squish the bug with a. It's gonna say a rock, but it's not a rock, it's a fighting move. We could just stare at Actor, but I don't think we need to. Would have made this a lot easier, but eh. The battle's already easy. Pin missile? Okay. Well, I don't think we'll be using that anytime soon. Okay. So I'm gonna go down to the Pokemon Center and heal. Hulu, where do you think you're going? Hulu crashed into you and stopped. Well, hi there. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challenges, right? Yes, indeed. Hi, ah, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I am a gym leader and rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you two. Uh, we can't keep the gym challengers waiting. Fucking hop. I don't want to battle you. Don't, I don't want another battle. I just want to heal up. Look, just take a look at that, Trixie. That's Tarfell Stadium down there. The gym, uh, the gym leader just returned too. Milo's his name. But the place is jam-packed with challenges. It'll be ages before our turn come, uh, comes up. Oh, but Sonia was looking for you, Trixie. She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on that What's Her Face Hill. You know the one. But you don't know the hill? Well, have a look on your map if you're not sure. Hello, Yampa. Oh, if it isn't Sonia's Yampa, he's a good boy. He'll show you the way. Alright, let's heal up. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like the rest of your Pokemon? Yes. Ok, 
Okay, thank fuck I'm not locked into having to go do that. So, uh, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to battle the trainers, level everybody up, and then we'll continue on the story. I'll be back momentarily. And I am back. So it's been, I want to say, like an hour uh, since uh, I paused in order to go and do some leveling. I've got majority of the team up to level 20 at this point. Um, the only Pokemon that are not level 20 are the Yamask and the Larvitar, but we're not really using them uh, for this gym, so that's okay. Um, but like a lot of the main ones are at level 20. Uh, specifically, the Aerodactyl is, and it does land Rock Slide, which is really useful. Uh, not necessarily for this gym, but just in general. So, we're going to come up here to Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Thanks, Champa. Bow wow wow. I had you come because I wanted uh, to hear what you thought. So that Geoglyph, what do you think of it? Seems likely. It suddenly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose uh, people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be a coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called? The darkest day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? Guess I'm luck I guess I'm the lucky lady who will be looking into that. Grand Shaw gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. Ah, uh, as thanks, I'll give you a lead card. I got Milo's, thank you. Milo's a grass gem leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug type moves. Take these two. Be pretty bad if you're Pokemon One in fighting form. Oh, thanks for the revives. I have so many revives now. Go on then, get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. Okay, let's go and beat Milo. And we can then call uh, it a day and wrap up the episode. Take a look at this, Trixie. The grass gym badge uh, I uh, got in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest trainer, uh, the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice at it after all. But I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. And he gives me a friend ball, I believe. Perfect. I will be... I don't have online on this account. Fuck, I can't move this to my main. Mm. Oh well. Alright, uh, so... Our team is basically all ready. So we're just going to swap Aerodactyl with Petlil and... You know, go in and hope for the best. Um, we should be fine. Aerodactyl's not weak to grass. Uh, what can I buy here? Just potions. I can't buy super potions yet. It's kind of lame. Mm, okay. No, I should buy some potions. I'll buy like 20. Alright. It's time. Alright. Apologies for reading this, but I mean, it's just like I... I don't think any of us really care, right? 
Now the gym mission begin. Give you a best shot. You have got it. Oh, even the water's green. Didn't nurse that the first time. The mission given by Tuffle's Pokemon Gym is this to chase our unruly Rulu. So that blockade uh, we've made at the uh, we've made from our bales of store over there. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as referee, and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the Leak HQ. Now let gym mission begin. Wasn't the cleanest, but you know, we got the job done. That was a little cleaner. Really? Okay. Welcome, Jim Jones. I'm sorry, but uh, I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. Okay. Let's see what you have for me, Samuel. You've only got the one, and it's got a flare. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for basically no XP, but I'll take the money. Alright, we're gonna wait for that Yampa. Okay, well that just went horribly. Okay, well, I was trying to avoid having a good. I mean, I have. I just trying to avoid battling the trainer, but whatever. Whatever. We'll battle the trainer. Mark, but you're Samuel. I guess you're. I guess you're twin brothers. That's gonna be my head cannon for why they look exactly the exactly the same. This will keep battling. Alright, the last one has two Yampers. This is not going to go cleanly. Well, is it? Hang on. It might. Right, and the gym leader is the next challenge. So I'm assuming you're going to have three Pokemon because we battled one, we battled two. So I'm assuming you're going to have three. 
Which doesn't really make sense, actually, because the gym leader only has two. So if you had more than the gym leader, that would be a problem. And that is all the trainers defeated. Nice, nice and clean. Right, it's time for Milo. It's time for the real challenge. Wait, A three one, but I'm I'm three eighteen. We got the same numbers. Yeah, that's kind of pog. Uh, my gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challenges. That's why I try to keep, try to keep the gym mission challenging, but that didn't stop you from completing it, Trixie. Proper job. So it seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to have a... This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Okay, let's do this, Milo. The music is no right going this hard. Nice easy one shot. We'll keep battling. Woohoo, we're not uh we're gonna be done in that we're not. G I, I promise I can read. Sound the Dynamax and go for Max Airstream. Come on then, it's Dynamax time, and you're about to be uprooted. The fact that all of the gym leader's aces didn't get a Gigantamax form, I feel like is criminal. Like, Kabu gets one, that's about it. Oh, and I guess, um... Raihan? Because uh, of um, Dualadon. Hi, right. and that is the first gym. Nice. Your mask is now level twenty. Crafty shield? Oh, what, what do you do? Use a protected selfish allies from status moves with mysterious power. This does not stop moves that do damage. Um. 
No, we're not going to really be doing any double battles. Besides against Raihan. But we can prepare then. I'm going to keep what I have. The power of grasses are rooted. For an incredible gym challenger. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you have defeated the gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. You can now catch Pokemon to level 25. You need to obtain all eight badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Yes, thank you for that uh, insight. Challenger Trixie, my most sincere congratulations on defeating gym leader Milo. Please accept this team to commemorate your victory. Ah, magical leaf. Cool. Here, here you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. Uh, it's a replica, of course. Cool. Something I'm never going to wear. Some advice for you, Trixie. The gym challenge has a set order you will need to follow. So that means your next step should be in Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury is just beyond Route 5. Or since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than the Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. Okay, awesome. So next step, it will be Route 5 over to Hullbury in order to take on Nessa. But that's all we have time for today's episode. I appreciate you all watching. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe and put a like on the video as well, as it does help me out. If you'd like to see more from me, I do stream over on Twitch pretty regularly. It will be the top link within the description. Come on over, say hello. We're currently playing through the Pokemon DLC. Um, and we're most likely to be doing a bunch of shiny hunting. I've done the story, so if you're wanting to avoid story spoilers, uh, you'll be all good. As uh, we're just playing through and we'll be doing shiny hunting now. But uh, that's all go that's gonna be all from me. And um, next episode should be next Saturday. So if you have enjoyed, uh, stay tuned for episode four.